Hey folks, it's Apostle O. I'm so grateful to be able to come before you on today with your city updates. Listen, it's the week of May 16th. And so today on the 17th, I want to give you our weekly updates. All right. We want to start with a recap on Pentecost Sunday. What a phenomenal move of God we experienced here at the city. One that we can't take anything away. We just got to tell God, thank you for all that he has done. He continues to move here at the city. And likewise, you know that he's continued to move in your life. This is a new season, and in this season, we're choosing not, no longer to fly solo, but we're flying united. You got to catch it in the spirit realm. God is saying something. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling in this season that God is about to shift some things in our favor, and not only in our favor, but we're shifting our mindset, and we're looking to the things that God has called us to do, and in this season, we're making no more excuses, but we're going after that which God has declared and promised for us. But in order to seize every moment, We've got to make sure that our lives are in alignment and this season we're flying again united get on board God is about to do some things in your life Let me get ahead with an announcement because I could stay right there as I feel the unction of the Holy Spirit I'm telling you it's been our pouring since that Sunday since this weekend uh, so much happened on the weekend I'm so grateful for also Unspoken Truths Conference to all those that supported. We had a phenomenal experience there. My boy, my friend, uh, that of Pastor Green, Howard Green, he came through and just did a phenomenal job. Pastor Gilliard and Dr. Yvonne Capehart, what? wow, just wonderful. Thank you, Pastor Z, for all that you did in putting that all together. What a wonderful, wonderful uh, depiction of what God can do when the vision goes to work. I want to say thank you to all those supported and, and the staff also that work behind the scenes. So grateful for you all. Now, with the announcements, if you were in service on this weekend, you noticed that we have our new carpet down at the city. In fact, right now it's being finished up here at the city. They're doing the stage and it's going to be phenomenal. Thank you for your continued support. Seeds are still coming in, in fact, and they're still being planted and, and we're just having a wonderful time. Uh, enjoying the newness of it all. Yes, carpet, new carpet smells good. <laughs> hey, grateful to you all. Listen, come help me break it in. Join me this Sunday as we continue to worship together. You'll have to wait till then because coming uh, here this week, um, we will not have Tuesday Express. It's being postponed. Everything has been dismantled to accommodate the, the renovation, the recarpeting that's taking place. I hope you understand. And we'll resume tomorrow, um, not tomorrow, but next week rather, um, to our regular scheduled program. Hope to see you then. Now, this weekend, we'll have service, but I want to make a quick shout out about next weekend. That is the uh, 20th. No, no, excuse me. I'm sorry. The 29th. The 29th. That is Unity Sunday. Unity Sunday. It is a regular service, but on Unity Sunday, we're going to do it up a little bit. We're flying United. Remember that. All right. So we're wearing red, white, and blue. All right, on that Sunday. Now, if you've already um, ordered your city gear, we hope to have it by then, but we'll make sure we keep you informed. We might have a few extra on uh, on hand for sale, so stop by the product station if you um, you know would like to pre-order or you know obtain one of such. All right. Uh, so on that Sunday, listen, another note that I need to make concerning such is that we'll be doing our 50-50. We'll be launching 50-50. We're looking simply for 50 people to sow a seed, a separate seed, an extra seed of $50 per person. All right, 50 people sowing $50 or more. Listen, that's simply going to the renovation, restoration of the city. We're going to continue to pay out the balance of our carpeting and a few other projects that have to take place as we continue to restore the land and put in um, our investment in the ground. Let me tell you something. This is a season I would encourage you to put a seed in the ground as God is about to bring forth and harvest for you. One last note. I uh, hope I didn't mess you up with the, the, the announcements thus far, but I want to make a quick shout out. Pastor G is ministering come this Friday, now the 20th, May 20th. She's ministering at the Center for Manifestation. Address will be going down below. Uh, it's, I believe it's at 7 p.m., so please plan to be there. Uh, it's going to be a phenomenal move of God. I know they're separate, celebrating rather their holy convocation experience, as we'll be doing so shortly ourselves. Um, but we want to be there and support her as she goes forward in this season. Thank you so much for being a part of what God is doing at the city. You know that we are here to see you empowered and restored in all areas of your life, and I'm believing God will open up a door for you. God bless you. Can't wait to see you. Got a word coming up for you this weekend, so please don't miss it. I'm telling you, God is about to do something extraordinary. You want to be there when the oil begins to pour out. That's all I'll say. Take care.